Question 4. Find the number of terms in the geometric sequence 2, 6, 18, 54, so on, till 118098. Well, you will find that in my sheet I have written the formulas on the top. Nth term in a geometric series, Tn, is equal to a r to the power of n minus 1. Sum of n terms are given two formulas here, and always remember restriction here is that r is not equal to 1. Do you know why r is not equal to 1? Of course, if r is 1, you can't divide by 0. But even otherwise, if r is 1, then it's no more a geometric series, right? It is just a number itself. If you multiply, in this case, for example, 2 by 1, you'll get 2s, right? It doesn't really become a geometric series. It doesn't increase rapidly as a geometric or decrease rapidly or grows or decays rapidly as a geometric series is expected to. Anyway, that's besides the point. The idea of giving these formulas here is that you look at them almost every time when you see the question and then you get an impression of the formula in your mind and you kind of remember it. It's important to remember these formulas uh, because without them you can't really solve the questions. So get used to them, okay? Let's go back to the problem. Find the number of terms in the geometric sequence 2, 6, 18, 54 and the last term is given to us, the nth term, 118098. So the formula to use here is T of n Tn equals to a r to the power of n minus 1. Here, what is a for us? We say a is equals to 2. And what is r for us? r we, will, we can find as a ratio, right, of consecutive or the, or the terms which comes next to one another, successive terms. So it is 6 divided by 2 to find r, which is 3. And let's check. Is 18 divided by 6 also 3? Let's check. 18 divided by 6 is also 3. Yes, it is geometric series with r equals to 3. And now we know the nth term which is 118098. So we'll write 118098 and equate to this equation and plug the other things in. So a is 2 for us, r is 3 for us. And what we don't know is n, which is in the exponent, correct? So the formula which we are using now is nth term in a geometric sequence series is a r to the power of n minus 1. Okay, to solve this, we can divide 118 by 0, 092, right? And then 098 divided by 2 equals to 59, so we get 59, 0, 49, equals to 3 to the power of n minus 1. Correct? Now we will take log both sides. So we say log of 59, 0, 49, equals to n minus 1 log of 3, right? And n minus 1 is equal to ratio of, so let, let's do it here, n minus 1 is equal to log of 59, 0, 49, divided by log of 3, which is equal to log of 59, 0, 49, divided by log of 3. We get 10. So n minus 1 is 10, right? Therefore, what is n equals to? n equals to 10 plus 1, which is 11, right? So the term number, so the number of terms in this geometric sequences, n equals to 11. So there are, so there are, 11 terms in our geometric sequence okay now 
if you don't know the log method which I've used here then you have to do trial and error just plug in different values of n right and then check your answer from here right if you put 10 here so you get 10 minus 1 is 9 so you can check what 3 to the power of 9 is it will be smaller than this then you try 10 and like that so you need to estimate in that case fine log method is important and very easy to use so just find log normally the log is ratio of log of this divided by log of 3 will give you the exponent that is how easy it is okay so let me like write down this formula here for log also let us say we have y equals to b to the power of x then we take log both sides and what is x equals to so we say log of y divided by log of b equals to x so that is a very simple formula which you can always use x in our case was n minus 1 do you see that so we get n minus 1 equals to log of y right which is this value divided by the base 3 so simple as that so you can straight away use this formula you don't even have to go to that step okay use this formula and get your result i hope that helps thank you